Shalom, all praise, glory, and honor goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwadash, double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that continue in the work of the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall awarn. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. Labor not to be rich. And that comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 23 and verse 4. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. And that's right. Laboring is what? Putting in work. Don't put in work. Don't spend your days searching for riches or trying to increase your riches. It says cease from thine own wisdom because that's a product of your own wisdom, all right? This world that we're living in encourages you to spend timeless hours and labor to be rich, all right? Verse 5, it says, With thy set thine eyes upon that which is not, and that's the main reason why you shouldn't labor to be rich, because the riches that we're laboring for, all right, are, are, are counterfeit, all right? It's funny money, all right? Uh, like the game that people play, uh, it's Monopoly money. It's not real, okay? It says, "With thou set thine eyes upon that which is not, which is this uh, counterfeit money, okay, that we're laboring for, that we're working hard for, all right, that we're killing ourselves for, okay? It says, for riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as eagles towards the heaven, all right? Just like if you have a... Uh, a flock of pigeons, all right, on a on a downtown street corner, all right, and someone's feeding them popcorn, so they're going to gather together, just see a child come jump in the middle of those pigeons. In an instance, in an instance, all right, that flock of pigeons are going to fly away, all right, and that's the same uh, scenario when it comes to this uh, counterfeit money that you shouldn't labor or, or give your all for. All right, let's read it again. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not for riches? Certainly make themselves wings. See, they fly away as eagle, as an eagle towards heaven. All right. So that's a good example of why we shouldn't um, invest all our time and all our brain power. All right. Towards these counterfeit riches that America has been pushing us to do. All right. Since. We came back in the incarnation here in this filthy, wicked society. All right? Let's jump from there. And let's get an example that our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, set forth. All right? Another main reason that we shouldn't labor for these counterfeit riches. This is Mark chapter 10, and verse 17. And when he was gone forth into his way, and that he is Yahweh Shai, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Verse 18, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is the Most High. So a man came in the path of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, kneeling to him and asking him, Good master, uh, what should he do to inherit eternal life? And Yahweh Shai told him, why are you calling me good? There is only one good, all right, and that's the Father in heaven, because Yahweh Shai knew about his sins in his past life, such as when he was Adam, such as when he was King Solomon. All right, verse 19, thou knoweth the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, Honor thy father and mother. And the, and the man said, verse 20, And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these things have I observed from my youth. So the guy is saying, All these things that I, I, I know, you know, all these things I have uh, observed from my youth. Verse 21, it says, Then Yahweh Shah, beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, 
And when it says Yahweh Shah loved him, Yahweh Shah told him the truth. It says, One thing thou lacketh, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. Verse 22, And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. All right? And that's what the men, all right, of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai have done, starting with the apostles and the elders. All right? We have uh, 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 sold all that we had, meaning we have regurgitated all the things that we thought we knew or the things that the world have taught us, all right? And we're going out on the highways and byways and hedges and feeding the poor, which the poor represents those that don't know that they're Hebrew Israelites, those that, those that don't know the true names of, your, uh, of the Most High and His only begotten Son, those that don't know uh, the true breakdowns of, this, of these scriptures, all right? And it says, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, all right? And that's us storing up our treasures in heaven by doing so. And it says, and come take up the cross, and that's what we're doing. We're bearing uh, uh, the cross, bearing the burden, all right, of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, doing the work, all right? All right, and we're following Yahweh Shah by following in his footsteps, doing the work of Yahweh Shah by teaching the lost sheep, okay? Verse 23, and it says, Yahweh Shah looked around about and saith unto his disciples, how hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of heaven, all right? And that's another prime example of why we shouldn't labor to be rich, all right? It's nothing uh, getting your ends meet, getting your, your daily bread when, when it's concerning uh, money, all right? Because we are all in the physical. We all got to eat. We all have to pay bills. Uh, for an example, we need gas in our car, you know, uh, uh, the light bill have to be paid. If you have kids, you got to take care of your kids. And the only way that you're going to do that in this country is with the American currency, this this worthless dollar bill, this not so mighty dollar bill. But that doesn't mean that you should put uh, invest all your time and put all your time into being rich. And these are prime examples why not to do that. Verse 24 says, And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Yahweh Shah answered again and saith unto them, Children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of the Most High? Verse 25, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Right. Yahweh Shah was in speaking of an actual needle, all right, that you thread clothes with, the little small hole that's on the back of a needle that you put thread through and you proceed to thread your clothes with he was speaking of the small narrow openings the small little doors upon the walls of our cities in jerusalem mainly after the gates was closed in jerusalem you know you would proceed to get a camel that was about anywhere from five feet to you know seven feet or or six five or whatever the height of the camel was, the camel would have to humble itself, get down on its belly. You would have to unload the 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 cargo or the packages that was on the camel, and the camel would have to stoop down to get through the needle's eye. All right, which is that's a lot of complications, and that's why Yahweh Shai said, uh, Mark ten and twenty five. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle then for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Because riches, all right, these modern-day riches, this not so mighty dollar is not going to save you in the day of destruction, in the day of judgment, all right? You can't pay Yahweh Shah off in that day, all right? This is uh, Proverbs chapter 11, and verse 4 says, Riches... Profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. And we pray to be a part of the righteous, a part of the just, the saints. That's the only thing that's going to deliver us, us storing up our treasures in heaven, giving diligence to make our calling of an election sure, having uh, that protective hedge about us, not these kernel riches. It will not um, profit us in the day 
of the Most High sending his only begotten Son, the rest of the host of heaven, the armies of heaven, the angels, accompanied by the way of thermonuclear missiles. That's not going to profit you in the day of the Most High's wrath. All right. Um, the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, and verse 18 tells us, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord, yet Lord's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's wrath. See? But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. And what is the fire of the most highest jealousy? Those thermonuclear missiles. And also Yahweh Shai uh, uh, zapping uh, uh, this earth and the people, the wicked people upon the earth with those concentrated beings of fire along with the rest of the host of heaven doing it doing the same exact thing it says but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy and and that's what once again accompanied by the way of 200 million missiles all right it says for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land and that's right so these are main reasons not to labor to be rich because uh, money is just for the moment, all right? It's, money is, is, is only kernel, all right? Money can't lead you or can't buy you salvation or eternal life, all right? It's just for the moment, and that's why we shouldn't spend all our, all of our time and put forth all of our effort for these not-so-mighty dollar bills, all right? Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying and that this made sense. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Call Halal, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwadash, double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that continue in the work of the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shah, and all fear. All right, the only way that we're going to be saved in the day of the Most High's wrath is continuing in the work, all right, of the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel and not these not-so-mighty dollar bills, all right, shalom and death to America.